This is an introduction to the Hale Sync VCO, which is a complex dual oscillator based on the idea of permanently synced pairs of VCOs. So there's a primary oscillator that's responsible for most of what's happening musically, and then there's a permanently synced secondary that's used as a, a wave shaper modifier, a CV source, depending on the mode and how they're, how they're locked into each other. So to start off, I'm going to show this patch that I've been working on, which shows off some of how the primary and secondary can work together to make um, melodies and make uh, really musical stuff really fast. I'm using an external um, reference oscillator, which is this saw wave coming in, which is locking the primary. And then I am using uh, one channel of the sequencer to generate uh, an overtone series, which is um, one, two, three, five, four, six, nine, and eight. And then I'm using the secondary side to skip through some subharmonics of those overtones of the, the reference. So I'll just go through the, the overtones once and then I'll, I'll plug in the CV and we'll hear the me melody that results. <laughs> some of this stuff out and we'll just go through the the inputs and outputs the primary side has five outputs and they're pretty standard um, 0 to 5 volt falling saw 0 to 5 volt triangle bipolar plus minus 2.5 volt sine wave and then a square is derived from the saw and that's divided down an octave for a subsquare. The secondary side has the sync saw output, the sync triangle output, and the sample and hold output. And their behavior is determined by uh, the mode that the secondary has been set to. The first mode that I worked on was this cycle mode. And we can look at what that looks like here. <laughs> So the primary is in yellow, and the secondary is in blue here. In cycle mode, the secondary side is allowed to continuously cycle, but it's reset by the primary on every edge of this saw. And the secondary output is amplitude modulated by the primary so that the moment of where that sync happens, which results in a, in a glitch in the waveform, is masked so that you don't hear that sync glitch which is good because the sync glitch um, has a lot of inharmonic um, grading type of content and masking it allows us to uh, have, a, have a much smoother sync sound. So that was the saw version we listened to first and then this is the triangle version of that sound. <laughs> The secondary in all three modes has trigger skipping or subharmonic locking, which means that one cycle must complete before another one is allowed to uh, begin. So as we come down, the secondary is three times the frequency of the primary, double, and now they're at the same frequency. And if I drop down, subharmonic, so sub octave, and then two down, and then the rest of the way through. The next mode is single mode, and this is a single cycle mode. So on every sync event, the secondary is allowed to cycle once and then holds for the next um, sync um, event to come through. So this allows you to use the secondary as a kind of harmonic uh, tilt one shot uh, generator. And it sounds like this. So if you want to just add a little bit of a high frequency uh, bite to a basic triangle, which is here, you can just stack these two together. And you can use it as a wave shaper. The sample and hold output is a um, special output that 
saves the DC value of that sync glitch as a, a CV that you can use in the system. And it's usually used as a, a feedback patch into the oscillator to start off uh, chaotic kind of meandering patterns that they seem like they go into stable states and then they jump back out and they, they wander around. So if I just show us a simple um, patch about how that works, it would just be feeding it right back into the um, secondary CV input. Turns it into kind of an, a noise oscillator. In the control section below, uh, pretty standard stuff, a uh, volt per octave input, exponential input with a tenuverter, fine and coarse controls for frequency, and a octave switch for frequency. In single and cycle mode, the primary and secondary track together all of the frequency controls, so everything over here is shared by both sides, and everything tracks together. So if I move the, the coarse side, you can see that everything is uh, moving together. The fixed mode disconnects that normalization and the secondary now does not track the frequency of the primary. And there's two reasons to have this mode. The first is to be able to set up your own relationships, um, tracking relationships between the primary and secondary. If you want to set up like half tracking or inverse tracking, those can be interesting. And the other reason is to be able to use the secondary as a um, fixed pitch kind of resonator for what's going on in the primary. Most of the patches that take advantage of the fixed mode uh, so far have been more complicated than what I have set up to show here, so I, I might get more into that uh, in a different video, along with the sample and hold output, which um, to take full advantage of it, you got you to uh, combine it with some other modules, so that might be for another time. The secondary side has uh, a coarse frequency adjustment and a exponential input with a tenuverter here. And you've got the mode switch that I've been using. The linear VC input is shared between the two sides and controls both of them at the same time if you want to do uh, linear FM, and that is AC coupled. The reset input is the sync input for the primary, and it also has the uh, trigger skipping subharmonic locking behavior that the secondary has. So we're looking at the external reference in yellow here, and then we're looking at the primary in blue. And it will do the same uh, subharmonic locking. And it also does uh, sync sounds, and here is where we can hear that uh, glitch that I was talking about that is masked by the secondary, but is not masked from the primary when we're using external source. So that kind of grating in and out, um, this edge right here that gets bigger and smaller is what we're masking out on the secondary, and that's what makes the secondary sync sound uh, so much smoother. 